Social Security Disability. How do you request time extensions? Hello, I'm Mark Whitehead, a board certified disability attorney and author of the disability help book, The Social Security Disability Puzzle, how to fit the pieces together and win your claim. As an experienced Social Security Disability attorney, I get lots of Social Security questions on a variety of aspects of the process. Often I refer people to our free ebook, but I also try to answer some questions here. Probably one of the things that's most confusing to people is how time extensions work. General guidelines used to give claimants and representatives 40 days to turn in arguments and evidence. But this time was reduced a few years ago to a standard 25 days to hand over any additional materials. Because that's such a short period of time, it's become far more common for attorneys and claimants to ask for more time. Unfortunately, every single one of these requests has to be looked at individually and either approved or denied. What's this procedure look like? So much of the nuts and bolts of the Social Security Disability process is kept behind closed doors that I thought I would provide you some detail to exactly how this approval process works. When a request for extension of time is made in the Social Security Disability case, the request is recorded and sent to the Chief Branch Officer. The Chief Branch Officer will look at the request and decide whether to grant or deny it. Whether approved or denied, the staff member will draw up a letter explaining the Chief's decision. The letter will be saved in the appropriate records and then mailed to both the claimant and their lawyer if it's deemed necessary. What's next? If your request for an extension is approved, you better get working to get the necessary materials in by the new date. But what happens if it wasn't approved? Well, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot you can do. Once you've had a time extension request denied, it's pretty pointless to try a request for a third extension. Sometimes the Social Security office won't even respond. That's why it's so important to work with an experienced Social Security disability attorney to get all of your questions answered ahead of time. If you have more Social Security disability questions, check out my free ebook, The Social Security Disability Puzzle, How to Fit the Pieces Together and Win Your Claim. Visit www.disabilitydenials.com for a free downloadable copy or call 1-800-562-9830 to discuss your particular disability issue. I'm Mark Whitehead. Thanks for watching.